Hello, today I'd like to give you a brief demo on how to administer and deploy out a new feature that we have in Enterprise One called the Related Information Application Framework. Now what this Related Information Framework allows you to do is to embed external web content directly in line with Enterprise One applications. So we're going to walk through a very simple use case today where we're going to go take one of the Enterprise One applications, a simple one called Address Book Revisions, and the idea is for all the customers in the system, I would like to be able to display a map to their location when I'm looking at their customer information. Now there's going to be some information I need from this application prior to setup. Most importantly, I need to know the form name of the application. So I'm going to go ahead and click the About button on the top right hand corner of the application. It gives me information about it. And what I'm looking at is the form name of the application. So I can see in this case it's W01012A. I'm going to go ahead and note that down and use that for a later um, setup ex exercise. So now I need to go over to the application that actually um, identifies which applications have related information associated with them. So I go to Enterprise One Menus, Enterprise One Lifecycle Tools, System Administration Tools, Related Information Administration, and you can see there's an application for Related Information Administration. What I'm going to need to do is add a new record into this application so that it can tell that um, the address book needs to have related information. Some of the information you're going to need is which environment is this running over. The, the key for the related information for web content is a generic URL. Set up which users will actually be able to see this map. It will show in the form of a tab within the related information and then give it the form that you're going to be running against. This was the W10128A that I noted earlier. If you wanted to, you could set it up for a specific version. In this time, we're going to, in this case, we're going to be very simple and just show it for all versions of that application. The other thing we're going to do is allow this user the ability to create and add new tabs of information within the related information. Now, with that user, can either just show it to that user only, so nobody else is it's visible to nobody else. They could set it up to publish out to a predefined distribution list or publication list made up of users and roles within the system. And if you want to put a little more governance on it, you can actually require approval by an administrator before other users and roles can see that content. Once again, in this case, we're just going to be simple and show how it can be published out to myself. Once I've added this information, very simple information, I just hit save. You can see I went back to the, uh, the list and I now have a record for that um, address book revisions applications. And then I can just toggle back to address book revisions. You can see in this case I now have a new tab that I can drag up to manage my related information. I'm going to go ahead and hit the green button to create a tab. I'm going to say this is a map, a map to the customer location for the text when it's toggled over. And then I'm going to type in a URL. This is something you will have to get from the web content you're going for. As I mentioned before, the use case that we said is that we only want this to show up when a user is a customer type. So we do have a field here that says when to define and display the generic URL. And I have a nice interactive capability just to select on key capture, come up and select on the fields. So in this case, you can see it's turned to a green. I'm going to stop my key capture. And what that says is only when search type is equal to C will this map be displayed. Now the next thing we want to do is contextually link out the information from the application to the map by passing parameters in. And you can do that from any form field in the application. I'm going to go ahead and click, over, click override parameters. And what it did was go out and parse out the URL that I had typed in. That URL had a number of different parameters that could be passed into it. One of them was this value of Q, which is the Google representation of the address that you're going to. Now I can dynamically override that just by opening up the value and hitting map to, and then it allows me to go up into the application and pick the field that I want to map it to. So I'm going to the mailing tab, and I just very simply select on the postal code, and you can see that everything turns in orange, adds a value to the Q, and then also you can see it rendered down on the URL. Very simple, I go ahead and hit the Save button, and you can see at this point in time the map will be rendered with a direct location out to that postal code. So very nice, simple solution to be able to embed really any type of external web content as long as you have a URL and you have authority to set up the application. So that was a quick run through on how to set it up. Um, thanks for your time, and I hope you can use this feature in, in your own site.